How are the first few days like so far, Ryan? Good. It's been really good. Um, just kind of a lot of it's the medical stuff, so it's uh, just getting the, the mundane out of the way. But it's uh, it's going to start kicking up here soon. So far, it's what you expect. I know. I know you've you've heard from Kevin O'Connell, and you've been mentored by and working with Mark Brunel. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and especially talking to VJ the last couple of weeks too, uh, he kind of gave me a, a good idea of what was going to go on. Um, but it's, it's, I've actually been surprised. It's been pretty quick, and talking to everybody, they've, they've kind of had things going pretty smooth. We've been in and out. It hasn't been taking too long. And have you met with teams yet? Yeah, we had last night, and we'll continue to, to be going over there and meeting with coaches. What, what teams have you, have you met with so far, and what type of questions are they asking you? I mean, almost all, almost all of them. I mean, you, you get in there, and then you get pulled around, so it's it's basically the same questions, I mean, background <laughs> stuff, and, and then we'll get into some football and, and talk X's and O's, what we did at San Diego State, what they kind of do, and make some connections, and, and just go from there. How long was the medical? How long did you know? I actually got out uh, this morning. I was probably, say, four. Uh, but, but yesterday went by pretty quick, about two and a half. So that was the one some of the guys were saying six or seven hours. So I was, I was getting a little scared, but we got in and out of there. Yes. What, uh, what are you going to try and show? I mean, you were working on your ability mm -hmm. and all that stuff. What, what's Sunday about for you? It's just it's just going out having fun, throwing it around. And for me, I just want to you know hit those passes. And it's, it's going to be different. You know, We haven't thrown with these guys for the most part. And you just got to go out there. I think a lot of it's about footwork and just showing. Uh, where you're at, your arm strength, accuracy. But for me, it's just uh, just going to have fun and going around. How'd Senior Bowl weekend out for you? you? Good. Good. I think it started. Uh, I could have started a little faster than I did, but but I think I finished good. Uh, I got better each day, and that's what I'm trying to show. I mean, I'm trying to show out here this week that, that I'm better than I was in Senior Bowl, and then by my pro day, I'll be better than I am right now. So just uh, as I continue to improve, the the, the future is going to be the best every time. You been in Orange County? Yes, sir. What what did Mike Shanahan uh, teach you throughout that week? Senior Bowl. A lot of stuff. I mean, it was, it was great having the, the Redskins staff and, and, and his son Kyle was a, was a great OC for us. We had a lot of good coaches that they really taught us. And that was something you kind of you get to you get the idea that once you go in the NFL, it's it's a lot less about fundamentals and technique and teaching. Where you know our coach before he really he was down on fundamentals, technique. We did a lot of individual stuff where he helped us a lot. Each of us, me, Nick, and Brandon, as, as quarterback. What's an example of one of the ones? I mean, we went through some, we just do some bag drills, different things that before practice, pre-practice, during our individual time, that, that kind of stuff that you wouldn't expect. You know, you think it's more just going to be about, okay, we need to get the offense in, work on that stuff. But uh, it was really about fine tuning and some things also. What kind of challenge was it for you this year losing Coach Hall and Coach Williams? Yeah, it, it was difficult. And I think on a, I mean, you, you, you form a relationship with those guys and you're tight with them and you care about it and care about you. So it's, it's tough to see them go, but that's, a, that's, a, that's what the game's about. And, and even at the college level, it's a business to an extent. But it's, uh, I'm, I'm happy for those guys who are doing well in Michigan. And, and uh, Coach Long is a great fit. Coach Long is also. And, and they're going to do great things. We've, we've set a pretty good foundation. It's going to keep going up from here. What kind of impact did Coach Boris have on you as a quarterback? And you made a big leap from year one to year two. What, yeah. you what was that like for you? What did it do? It was huge. I think just the way he teaches the game, uh, fundamentally X's and O's, uh, it's, he's, just, he's just unbelievable what he does. And I really, I've, I've told him, I, I got to thank him for almost everything I know about him. But man, we ran a spread system. He brought in the West Coast, which is, you know, Bill Walsh, really just you know, a pro style, an NFL offense. And for us, it was really what we needed. It helped us out a ton. And uh, it's all due to do what he does on the field and off the field. And Art Robinson's making a similar transition next year. What year to the system? What can he expect for the second year under the system? You just get a feel for it. I mean, whereas a lot of the West Coast system is about timing and, and getting your stuff down. It's kind of mechanical your first year, but you got to think about it a lot. Whereas your second year, you're not thinking, you're just throwing it. And you're just going and doing it and having fun. And it's, uh, it, was, it was really good under We had some fun with the uh, with several. Yeah, actually, I was just Ronnie during the, with Ronnie during the medical stuff. So we've been talking and uh, just catching up. I've texted him every once in a while over the last couple of months. But finally getting to catch up with him. He's doing well and he's, uh, he's looking good. I think he's going he's gonna to show up this week. Did he look different than when you'd last seen him? Because he's been here. Yeah. So yeah, he's uh, he's a little bigger, and I, I mean, he, he bulked up. I'm not sure what he weighed in exactly. Today, but he's definitely bigger. And I, I was messing with him and asking him he's finally eating right. And, uh, he is. I mean, he's definitely. You can tell he's uh, he's going all in. He's working hard, and hopefully, he puts out a good product. You worked with Ryan Seip, right? Yes, sir. How did that go? What did you learn from him? Uh, it was awesome. And not only as a as a football player, but, but as a person. You know, he was more of a mentor spiritually off the field. Um, just, just couldn't couldn't pick a better guy to be around. And really, one of the most humble uh, kids.
caring human beings that went around. I mean, the guys in the NFL that you be, and you couldn't tell. Uh, you know, they're walking in, he's, he's a regular guy talking to you about, about surfing and football. That's about it. Uh, but he's, uh, he's a guy that I, I care dearly about. We, we maintain a good Have you talked to the Packers by chance? Um, like I said, we talked to everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't tell you exactly. Ryan, what was the last year of class to go from uh, where you started out to winning a couple of bowl games by the end? What is it? So your class is in here. Yeah. What was it like to start out where you guys did and then you kept going a couple of bowl games by the end? Right. Yeah, well, I was, I was lucky to be around a lot of guys that shared uh, the same, I guess, dream that I had. And being from San Diego, it was always kind of, you know, we never reached our potential at San Diego State. And, and I was lucky to be around some guys, some Vincent Browns, Miles Burris, and, that said, you know what, we're going to be the guys that turn around. And, and luckily we did. We set the foundation, we turned the tide. Two bowl games, which, which we could taste two bowl wins, but. You know, I think we've turned things around for, for the better, and hopefully they keep it going. I think they will. With the Chargers, what do you think about throwing uh, Vincent Brown uh, his last year there, and then what do you, what do you see from him this year? Yeah, he, he's a guy that uh, his work ethic for me, uh, being around him for four years and you know, being one of my best friends, it's never a question. I mean, he's just going to get better the longer he's in the league. Uh, he's a guy that, that works tirelessly, loves the game of football, is all about it, and just uh, a good guy on off the field. I mean, you see what he and he's had the opportunity to do a lot of things chari charity wise and, and the community. And he's just uh, he's a good person. Ryan, three different three different head coaches and offensive coordinators during your time at San yeah. State. Definitely a huge challenge. But was there anything good that you learned from? All those different coaches. Yeah, and I, I always try to look at it positively where I get to see, I got to understand the game of football from three different perspectives. So for me, that's you get a different idea how different people do things. So it was, uh, I'll, I just see it as a good thing. Now, it might have been nice to have one, but uh, it, it is what it is, and there's a plan for everything.